Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle secretly buy family home in Santa Barbara after leaving Tyler Perry's $18 million Los Angeles mansion. Prince Harry and wife Meghan Markle have secretly bought a private family home in Santa Barbara, the place they have chosen to put down permanent roots and bring up their son Archie after leading the British royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have for six weeks been living in their own home in the upscale California community, which is also home to their friends Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres. Amid much speculation that the couple would buy a place in Los Angeles, Harry and Meghan have been quietly living in their own home in Santa Barbara since early July. They are not house guests of Oprah or anyone else. They bought this home themselves. This is where they want to continue their lives after leaving the UK. This is the first home either of them has ever owned. It has been a very special time for them as a couple and as a family to have complete privacy for six weeks since they moved in. They intend to put down their roots in this house and the quiet community, which has considerable privacy. This is where they want to bring Archie up, where they hope he can have as normal a life as possible, the source adds. Harry and Meghan never intended to make Los Angeles their home. It was a good place for them to be upon their arrival in the U.S. to be close to Meghan's mom, who lives in L.A. The source would not reveal details of the home, such as the price they paid or the location, citing security concerns, but added, they have thought about this carefully and researched it well. This is the place where they plan to be happy, make good friends and bring up Archie, giving him the chance to play with other children his age. It was widely reported that Harry and Meghan had been staying at entertainment mogul Tyler Perry's $18 million, 12-bedroom, 8 bathroom Beverly Hills mansion over the last few months. He was mentored by Oprah and also is represented by some of the team working with Meghan and Harry in Los Angeles. But the couple launched a lawsuit against numerous paparazzi agencies after Archie was photographed with Meghan's mom, Doria Ragland, in the private driveway of the house. It is believed the pictures were shot by a drone flown over the home. The source added, Harry and Meghan are both very upset by this breach of privacy, but that wasn't the reason they left Los Angeles. They were already in the process of buying their home in Santa Barbara. While it was a nice favor to them at a very difficult time, Tyler Perry's house with 18 bedrooms isn't Harry's style. Yes, he grew up in royalty and the halls of Buckingham Palace, but he prefers more intimate homes with character. Their new house aren't likely to be as intimate, however, as their first marital home in London, Frogmore Cottage. When they were first married, Harry and Meghan lived at Frogmore, a historic grade II listed property in Windsor, which they renovated in a move funded by the British taxpayers for $3 million. Santa Barbara is one of the wealthiest communities in the U.S., with homes on sale for more than $100 million. Oprah has a sprawling $90 million mansion in Montecito with views of the ocean. DeGeneres has bought a few homes in Santa Barbara, including one on the next door estate from Oprah, but in 2017, she paid $18.6 million for an oceanfront home in the enclave of Carpinteria, where Ashton Kutcher and Myla Kunis own a house on the same street. When reached for comment, a spokesperson for the couple confirmed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved into their family home in July of this year. They have settled into the quiet privacy of their community since their arrival and hope that this will be respected for their neighbors as well as for them as a family. Another analysis, both Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reportedly ignored warnings from friends about their relationship. Before Prince Harry married Meghan, Duchess of Sussex in 2018, the two of them spent a year and a half dating and getting to know each other. 
They were set up on a blind date by a mutual friend in mid-2016. As Harry and Meghan started becoming more serious, their friends and family members chimed in with a few thoughts on the relationship. Reportedly, their loved ones had some concerns, but according to sources, both Harry and Meghan brushed off these warnings. Prince Harry reportedly ignored his brother's and childhood friend's concerns about Meghan Markle. As written in Finding Freedom, a new biography about Harry and Meghan, Harry's brother, Prince William, raised some concerns about Harry moving too fast with his new girlfriend. However, this put Harry on the defensive, and his relationship with William deteriorated. William allegedly told Harry, Don't feel you need to rush this. Take as much time as you need to get to know this girl. This story seems to back up other sources who claimed William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, were worried about Harry falling too fast for someone he barely knew. Meanwhile, according to royal expert Sammy Wonder, Harry went ballistic because felt like he was not getting the support he wanted from his loved ones. However, William was not the only person who told Harry to slow down with his relationship. His longtime friend, Tom Inskip, reportedly gave Harry advice similar to what William said. According to Finding Freedom, Inskip advised Harry to cohabitate with Meghan before doing anything more serious. This did not sit well with Harry either, who allegedly punished Inskip by not inviting him and his wife to the evening portion of his wedding. Meghan Markle was allegedly warned about the enormous expectations of royal life. When things were getting serious with Harry, Meghan's friends had some words of advice for her as well. This time, they were warnings about the harsh realities of life as a royal. Meghan's former agent, Gina Nelthorpe Cowan, told the Daily Mail in January 2020 that she tried to told Meghan about how challenging things could be if she married Harry. Nelthorpe Cowan said, I doubted whether Meghan would be able to sustain the unrelenting pressure of being Harry's girlfriend, let alone, wonder of wonders, his wife. The moment she told me their relationship was looking serious, my enthusiasm turned to concern for both of them. Nelthorpe Cowan continued, I distinctly remember explaining as we sipped wine in London's West End that she must cope with the enormous expectations of the British public, the royal family, and their courtiers. Her reaction was to hold up her hand and silence me. Save it, she said in a steely manner I had not noticed before. I don't want to hear it. This is a positive time in my life. Because of what she knew about Meghan, Nelthorpe Cowan admitted she was not completely surprised when Harry and Meghan decided to step down from being senior members of the royal family. Many people suspected that Meghan had a difficult time as a full-time royal. Are Harry and Meghan's relationship on the rocks? Since Harry and Meghan allegedly ignored advice and warnings from their close friends and family members, some fans might be curious to know if the couple regretted anything in their relationship. Of course, whether Harry and Meghan's marriage is on the rocks or not is difficult to tell for outsiders. However, there is no sign indicating that they are having a tough time. Royal expert Angela Mollard noted in the podcast Royals in September 2019 that, since they are going through a lot in their life right now, they do need a strong relationship to withstand any difficulties that arise. At the time, the couple had just had their first child. These days, they are dealing with raising their son, the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic, and their recent move to Los Angeles. Harry and Meghan continue to show a united front to the public, despite the constant negative press surrounding them so there is a chance the couple could be doing very well behind closed doors as well. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.